Hi there, it's Debbie Anderson here today from Inner Liberation Healing. I'm here to help you on your healing journey from narcissistic abuse with science, education, and spirituality. And I'm here to talk with you about this. If you want to be resistant to a narcissist, you must go within and what that means. So you've been through hell with the narcissist and of course you want your power back so you can be free from the narcissistic abuse and that it is no longer your reality. You want to have 100% resistance against them. And there is a way that you can do this and it's achieved by activating your own immunity or resistance from them within. There's a way to break away from and get physically, mentally, emotionally and spiritually free from a person who is destroying your life. And this absolutely works. If you don't go within, you go without. You can take your power back and this is done by going within. Whether this is in relation to narcissists or with anything that we fear. Regardless of what a narcissist tries to do, know that you can become resistant to them. You can win this fight against the darkness that has filled your life. What does resistance actually mean? And It, it means protection or immunity from something. It means not having to experience this thing anymore or even at all. And how do we become resistant to something? The obvious answer is to be powerful and know this to be true. This power comes from within, from within us, as an activation of our own already inner coded wisdom, our health, our freedom. It is our divine right to live as the highest expression of ourself, regardless of outside threats. We are all a part of Source and all creation, so that we all have this light within and this right. We give our power away by not believing this and seeing ourselves as a lesser being that struggles with belief and faith in ourselves, our rights, our value, and our power. This is a perfect position for the narcissist to latch on to you and permeate your life and soul. They can then feed off your energy and resources for their self-serving agendas. This is a state of not having resistance or immunity. Looking for external resistance. When you're stuck in the powerless, powerlessness of narcissistic abuse, we often try to get somebody else to offer us our protection, but does this work? No. In my life and that of so many others, the experience was of people in our lives not being able to help us. And maybe they didn't even believe our cries for help, let alone believe that they should support us. Additionally, what is common is authorities not holding the narcissist accountable and even laws being non-existent to protect us. Of course, this can lead you to feel like you're a victim and you're incapable and unsupported, as though you're on your own when trying to stand up, break free, and get free from the narcissist who is destroying your life. Trying to deal with the devil. If you haven't become resistant to a narcissist within your own being, then you may believe that your only option is to try and get this person to play nice or change. Maybe you're struggling to get past the heartbreak if you leave, or you may feel threatened by your narcissistic partner if you don't leave, if you do leave. You are aware of how angry and how hostile they are, and you know they are, will be unreasonable if you try to leave. You might feel afraid and you can't survive on your own if you do leave. I understand as I also was in an abusive relationship with a malignant narcissist for years, so I do understand and know how you're feeling. I tried to keep the peace when I was in a position of helplessness by giving him what he wanted, believing it would stop the abuse, but it is a bottomless pit and it will never stop. He was never satisfied and would never stop sucking my life and soul dry. There will never come a point where the payoff to you is, sa is safety, health or love. He will never get it. Eventually you come to realize this and you can't make a deal that equals selling your soul to the devil. The person behind the mask. A miracle begins to, to take place when you start to take your power back. When you turn within, taking your own responsibility to heal, and you begin to work on your fears and insecurities, 
that you've had about yourself, which is all the stuff the narcissist is bringing up and triggering within you, then your narcissistic partner who is hurting, manipulating, and using you for their own agenda, it starts to lose its power. You might have figured this out, or you're learning that narcissists need your fear and your pain to exist in, your, in their experience and in your experience. When you cut that off and go inside to the pain and the fear and heal it up for yourself, then the narcissist can no longer use your negative and traumatized energy against you. You discover that this person doesn't have their own energy force. They're actually empty vessels and they are not at all powerful. They are like parasites who feed on the lack of on your lack on your lack of resistance, your fears and your wounds to be able to get their claws into you and start messing with you. This is exactly what narcissistic abuse is about. If you're dedicated to your well-being, want to break free from the pain and trauma and step into the authentic you, who the person that you really are, then you must realize that you need to take charge of your own life and take your power back. You're in charge of you and you're in charge of your life. How to be resistance. The number one thing on how to be resistant to a narcissist is to do the deep inner work on your wounds so that you are no longer triggered. We all have wounds, and then you'll show up as clear and calm and powerful during very difficult times. This will help you to start emerging as knowing who you truly are. Your truth and values will start to feel real for you and anchored in as your body truths. You will begin not to not be driven by fear, which enables them to manipulate you to hand over your power. This will break free the belief that your narcissistic partner is your source and that you need them for anything or that you can't live without them. You must remember that you are an incredible creator who is capable of creating worlds. Let me repeat that. You must remember that you are an incredible creator who is capable of creating worlds. Now you have unlocked the truth to life that you are a powerful, powerful being and you do not need this abusive partner your greatest mission is to create and claim who you really are, a spiritual being in a physical body living temporarily on earth, creating your own reality. Then you can disconnect and simply understand the facts and the truth and keep releasing all and any of the fears that arise from you without even knowing, needing to know the outcomes. You just live relying on your higher being to have your back or source or God or whatever you call that higher energy. You will begin to attract a thousand different miracles in your life and magic of life around you, starting to form support and confirm exactly this truth. It will just be attracted to you. The conclusion of narcissistic resistance. You can heal your life and live an exceptional and live an exceptional life as a result of clearing up all the internal fear, pain, and insecurities that we have all carried, that we're assigning other people as our source, causing us to hand over our power away to people that can hurt us. And right now, we are all now in a time of grand awakening, a time of taking our power back from the outside, parasitic forces of many varieties. You can be free from the hold that a narcissist has on you and actually truly step into the powerful, authentic woman that you truly are by releasing your fears, distorted beliefs, and pain that you've had most likely all your life that were downloaded by others into your subconscious mind and into your being. If you would like to reach out to me, I can help you. I can help you heal. I have actually healed from a narcissistically abusive relationship with a malignant narcissist. It wasn't easy. It was hard work. However, I did it and I'm here to help anyone who would like some help with healing from this very difficult pain and trauma. Please leave a comment below. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook, much love to you, and I'm also on YouTube. Um, 
I know it's not an easy journey. However, you can do it. Have faith in yourself. Keep your chin up. You'll get there. Until next time, take care.